First World War has a very powerful resonance in the British imagination and especially in the older generation how we think of ourselves. A lot of artists served in the war, they you know, fought in the war or as, uh, served as non-combatants. They experienced war and then for the first time the British state was actually through the Ministry of Information was actually employing artists, war artists. And so the, our sense of what the war was like, especially for those who, who didn't, serve, didn't see it, and the generations to come, we can go and see at the Imperial War Museum, for example. Our sense of what the war was like is, has been ineradicably shaped by paintings and drawings, but particularly paintings by people such as Paul Nash and John Nash, his younger brother, Stanley Spencer, Nevins. The aspect of the war art programme is that it wasn't overtly nationalist, in that the people who, who commissioned the war art, uh, who in many cases had been liberal politicians, uh, were, you know, encouraged the war artists to paint and draw exactly what they wanted to, not to pull any punches, and to, to record what they saw. And in fact, there was very little uh, censorship, very little sort of uh, overall surveillance uh, or control of what they what they painted. So I think they were trying to honestly offer this sort of view of what the war was like and to show that it had indeed been terrible and you know, gu uh, gruesome and awful but and that many of the war artists actually you know when you look at it closely uh, when you actually look at their writings and their letters and books about them uh, they actually thought it was it was worth fighting. There are these sort of competing sort of strains that you can see within the uh, the war art scheme. But overall, I think they were were trying to offer a truthful image of the war, and that they you know some of them genuinely hoped, as in that phrase that H. G. Wells had coined, that this would be the war to end all wars. War art today and the war memorials that you can still see all over uh, the country. Uh, you know, our essence that they do remind people that it uh, it was dreadful and it was unimaginable the horror of it, and yet you know, sort of human beings endured and fought on to 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 victory, and that it was worth achieving.